Hi, and welcome back to Kentucky Route Zero. Bureau of Reclaimed Spaces, yep. We talked to the dock already, so let's go to the reception and ring that bell. What a shame, I would have liked more crazy locations. Oh, come on. Ah, Lula. Here you are. Marianne has the rest of the evening off, so I'm mining the desk. Any word on the address? Your right shots came by in by courier. Re results. Well, why did I screw up that word? The results came just came in by courier. Good news, Donald and his assistants were able to sort through the noise. I had Rick cross-reference their core results against some of our records. He found a corresponding mail stop on the Echo River route. As it happens, the night ferry is scheduled to make its stop here shortly. The ferryman carries the mail and collects the garbage as well. I'm sure you can catch a ride out that way. You're welcome to wait here. I have to get back to packing. Thanks for your help. Happy to help, huh? I suppose we just repeat it until it's true. Safe terrors, try to stay out of the water, it's colder than it looks, and deep. Okay, we're taking a ferry. Our stupid robot are... I hate these sounds you make. Ah, now you go. Weird. Wait. How long do we have to wait? Oh, nurse. Alright, what happened? Up to you. It's okay, you can tell them, it doesn't matter anymore. Fine. So we were in that graveyard? And that was... I thought that was Act 3. So we're taking the ferry now. Where the strangers come from. Ah, we're telling the story. Yeah, God. Yeah, we had this conversation already. Please go. We make it quick, and, and they, they like had a little conversation, and ready we were. Sit. I don't know what I expected. The strangers, he kept saying. Kind of vague already, isn't it? Don, it's a stranger. Hell, you and I are practically strangers. Listen early in the mine. I didn't want to talk about it, but. What did you find down there? When I saw Weaver, she was on TV. I was testing a simple, uh, a pretty simple tube repair, flipping through shadows to check the saturation, and she was just, just there. It was kind of horrible. I mean, I told you she disappeared suddenly, ran away, but we thought... What was she doing on TV? That's a part of that. I can't... I've felt flipped past the channel a dozen times before my test. It was one of those public access things. Some old lady reading poetry. And then the next time I flipped the channel to... Weaver. It's burnt in my vision now. She's standing in a room. The walls are blank, kind of grey. There's tape on the walls. Little markings and desk. A classroom, maybe. The camera's in the corner, so... It's this sort of 45 degree angle into the room and there's Weaver right in the center of the picture. I stopped turning the dial. Hell, I think I stopped breathing. Eventually she spoke, but there was no real sound, just this awful hum. I re read the closed captions. She said to go to the mine. I'd f I, had f I would find something there. I can't remember exact words. Whenever I try, I get distracted. Fuzzy, I... <coughs> it's so dusty in here, right? Yeah. You think, with all these holes in the ceiling, what the hell was that? Did you hear that? We should check outside. We... Okay, and I perfectly chose the shortest way to go on. I want to look at all stuff, man. 
There's a service door to the right. Visitors. Communicate my tail player. My regards, I hope I didn't keep you waiting long. We don't see a lot of foot traffic these days. I guess you're here about the job. I'm afraid we only have one opening at the moment. Horrible business. We're actually looking for some information about an old computer. Certainly I'll tell you everything you need to know. I've only just met you, but I feel certain there's a place for you here. I'll just take you over to meet the dispatcher, show you the trucks, get your family alarized. We can converse as we go. What is this place? Well, it's not an old church. No, I guess not, but still it has all kind of reverence to it. And what's that smell? Like bread? Baking bread? Please follow me. I have to ask you to step in here a moment. This is for your safety and just your outfit for a bit. There's a protective headwear up on the wall back there. Please remove your shoes and eyeglasses. I'm not taking off my shoes. Oh, I understand. It's only courtesy to well do us a favor and put on the headwear anyway, just this way. I wanted to go the other way. There are other humans down there. Oh, are these... Wait... That's the old guy from the... Thing. No, shake... Th well, shake this shaft out. It must be decades old, but it's in perfect conditions. How do you think they keep it like that? Maintenance old man. It bets someone's job around here. Probably hard to keep all the dust out. You know, underground. That's why I got into this business. To keep old stuff like this running. Seems like such a shame to let it just fall into ruin. You know, like the computer in the back, back in the cave. Xanadu. Decades of engineering. Thousands of years of mathematics and philosophy. All petrified into living stone. How could you just let that fall apart? And look at that. Manual libraries this evening, plenty to do, got to relay the formula. What formula? Oh, the formula changed our lives. Once years ago we were prisoners for the intricacies of our debt here. We would have to account for everything on paper. Compounding interest by hand, reassessing amortization and leveraged asset distributions according to nightly merit decay. Then she stepped out of the dark caves to show us the light of the formula. She had a brilliant grasp of mathematics and a saint-like way of speaking right through the numbers. Now we just plug our daily numbers into the formula and run it all through the adding machine. We occasionally suffer some surplus drift, but she instructed us on all the necessary adjustments. It was devastating to see our reverb mathematician go, but she was needed elsewhere. Her legacy abides. What job are they working? I don't know that it's been settled just... I don't know that... I don't know that it's been settled just yet. You see, sometimes we take on newcomers already and dab to the distillery. One of the foremen will find something for them to do, ship away at their sum until it's all settled. That's what I'm doing here, shipping away. That's what we're all doing. This is the distillery. And they are dab. That's why they have to, to work here. Uh -huh. Shuttle. What the fuck is going wrong with the button sometimes? Yes, the fleet, haha. <laughs> oh, we just use these to get around internally. How big is this place? Oh, it's grown a great deal over the years. Incredibly, to think, really, where Mr. Bishop found this operation was only about 1800 square feet. And half of that or more was occupied by camouflage to keep the Lord, hiding out in the back of an old church purifying spirits by a handmade half fire, a kettle and a dream. So the trucks are just east of a ways in shipping. You can become acquainted with the dispatcher there. Give me a tap on the shoulder if you see something that catches your eye. Always happy to show you facilities. Supply machinery. What the fuck is going on now? I thought this was ending and they're telling a story about what they did in the half a minute that where they were in the f in the, in the thing.
Yeah, we could drive to ship. Okay, that's that's a dead end. Oh God, do I have to really do that? Oh God. Where does this go? This is destillation. What? There was a... There was a thing. Okay. Okay, we are at destillation now. Uh, okay, this episode keeps going. Spirit safe. Confident. Don't let them catch you looking too closely here, not within your our purview. What's it for? Keeps us hon honest in the eye of the state, well in the eyes of management anyway. We keep pretty well out of view down here, not much change of chance of being spotted by helicopter. Hey? But if the law come, came knocking, we should could say we are logging and securing our virgin spirits. We should could say. Marvelous engineering, though, isn't it? We are at the distillery here. Wait, 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 wait! That's not the button I wanted to click! I clicked on the ground there! Ah, uh, game. I want you to go up those stairs. Computers. Please don't touch a thing. Very sensitive devices. We're not even allowed to run the formula through them. We have some computations of our own. Computers, computers, personally I'm opposed. No principle. Am I boring you yet? Are you simply dying of boredom? I'm, I myself could discuss this matter past sunrise. We're trying to fix this old computer in the caves. Of course I'm boring you. Let's move on. Of these old computers look like about the same vintage uh, as that stuff in the cave. What's this little screen for? Oh wow, good eyes. That's an XY monitor. It's they use them in oscilloscopes and archaic games, or they used to anyway. It's rare stuff. It's like these. It's is this like antiquing with the Z for you? Haha. <laughs> I probably sound kind of ridiculous. Boxing about in vacuum cubes and oscilloscopes. It's good to have a passion. Yeah, I guess it is. S someday you'll have to tell me what yours is. <clears throat> I know exactly how oscilloscopes work. Which is a very interesting thing if you really get into it, how the the image is... Whoa, 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 wait, wait! Uh... Hey! I wanted to press on the X. <sighs> so I guess the, they are like before and after. The new cast look like they could be used for anything. Yeah, before they get all warped and stained, you can really can't undo that, can you? No way to clean them after the aging process. I mean, it's a one-way street. Is that the casket they're using to... For that is still stuff. Feel that draft of warmth like a summer breeze. This is the aging warehouse. It's heated artificially? 100% draws a lot of electricity to tame this cold rocky cave. I'll tell you that. Of course, we only have half our aging stock in there at any given time. Most distilleries let their whiskey sit and cast through their cycle of seasons. In summer, the foot expands. The wood expands and the whiskey seeps in, picking up flavor. In winter, the wood contracts and squeezes the whiskey back out. Down there, there are no seasons. Each workday proceeds from the last in an unbroken chain of climate control. Sorry, I had to refill my glass because I drank two full big glasses of water during this uh, recording because it just can't stop. Uh, 
So we make our own seasons. Each cast alternates in a weekly cycle between the cold ground upstairs and this heated warehouse. Cool. Back to the car. And can you please drive now to where we want to go? So this is like the kind of little little scene that you can see somewhere that makes totally sense. And tells a little background story. That's what I wanted to, to have. So that goes down towards... Ah, oh, this is just shipping. Okay. Here it is. Now I have to ask, as a matter of course, what kind of experience do you have driving trucks? I drove one for an antique shop up until this last run. Ah, precious cargo, you'll do just fine. And you can drive safely, can't you? I haven't any doubt now. It's only after what happened with Miguel this evening. What happened with Miguel this evening? Well, the dust is still clearing, of course. Perhaps he closed his eyes a moment or simply hit a curve too devilish. I do pity ill-fated Miguel. He was good company and slow to anger. But if we're speaking confidentially, well, with all that I lost, that lost product to be repaid, berm and glass dashed across the interstate in a few cars too. We're all just thankful he had no next of kin. So, let's see if we can ring up the dispatcher. I can't go anywhere else but to the radio. A deep monotone's voice dr drones from the ca uh, dashboard speaker of the car. 1020 on the load, come back. Up in the Yummy Mark Cave, 1012, City Kitty. This good time dispatch, we may have found Miguel's replacement. Thought you might like to get acquainted. 10-9, come again. Introduce yourself. Hello? Tell dispatch something impressive about yourself. They are very well regarded here. Do you folks know anything about a moldy old... 99 wheel holder, gotta, patch, uh, gotta pay the weight water bill. Ah, sir. I'm certain they'll call back before long. Let's take a look around the truck, eh? The bag? Looks like it's just about ready to go out. We have some good strong folks in shipping here, so you never need to worry about loading if you don't want to. Bit hard on the knees and back at your age, eh? Of course you'll have to unload at the destination, but that's the job, and some drivers like the extra shift stacking and loading here. Did Miguel load his own trucks? He did, he was jealously guarded task for him. If I didn't know the man better, hear me now, I say if I didn't know the man better, I may have suspected he was skimming off the top. Conway woke up on Bale Tay. Everything was too bright, his head hurt. The usual Lisette and Ira argued lurkly just outside the open barn door. She wanted Ira to take him inside and shower, have some coffee and get to the shop. Ira said there wasn't time. Conway was in no condition. It was an important job. They couldn't put it off. Ira said to let the deadbeat sleep off it off and then sent him packing. He said Charlie could do the, could do the job. Conway closed his eyes. They kept arguing. He said, tried saying, saving, saying Charlie had schoolwork. That Conway should be roused. Could be roused. I said Charlie could, should earn his bed for the summer. Conway was a lost cause. Could, couldn't show up to a job bleary eyed and smelling like blue, booze. Couldn't show up. Ira was a stubborn man, so Charlie went along and Conway drifted out again. And he didn't hear about the accident until months later. So what's next? Tires. Oh sure, I know you want to look at the tires. That's a thing we do, isn't it? As though your knees could exert the kind of force uh, these tires see out of the road, we are more likely to hurt ourselves, isn't it? Where? Huh? Tires look fine. Oh, I'm sure I wasn't the wise that for fair to dear Miguel, we are quite sure. I sat in a dim room full of folding chairs. The walls and ceiling were painted with old smoke. Someone read from the book. He drank coffee as it is. I listened. The speaker li listed all the things we tried that we most people in the room were probably there by court order. A few others shared. They spoke in abstractions like a program of action, a good orderly direction, a spiritual but not religious, religious but not spiritual. All these things we tried. 
Then it was over. They clasped sweaty hands through a short prayer and stepped back out into the morning. He knew it was time to hit the bar. It was good to get out the heat. Away from the mendacity, he set it into it. Someone else from the meeting was here, looking rough. I uh, started conversation. She was on a bender, a week and counting. She'd arrived at the meeting drunk and sat in the back because she didn't believe in it. She had a lot of French books and didn't believe in anything but the benign indifference of the universe. It was comforting in its way. She didn't e uh, have to prefer one thought or day over any other. All she had to do was drink and stay indifferent. Now that, what else can we show you? Uh, the wipers? Control the wipers with this knob here. I know. They seem to have a decent talk to them, eh? Can't say how they're fair in the ice storm, but we must never delay a shipment. Better to assume the risk. Always clear skies down here. Sorry here, but most of the products delivered by surface roads, which feel rain quite often, particularly in the spring months. So I hear. They did, they did class for the day to drive in the rain. It was pointless to stay or review. He was a lost cause and she didn't need it anyway. She was smart, bored. It was time to cut out. Shitty day for it though. 83 and bibl biblical flood. 83 and biblical flood. 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 Whatever. They went to a bar. They pulled into a dive bar with an afternoon open mic. It smelled like rose water. They smoked cigarettes, drank awful hooch, whizzed buckets of rain. She sang about someone she wanted once to have loved. Brown hair curled around her ear. She had a voice like scotch whiskey. They poured another drink and another and another. She, she worried it was getting dark out. Then it was getting light out. They ended up in someone else's field, in someone else's car, an early morning joyride and a sunrise collision. She got on the bus and he hiked back to his car. He sat in his car and went over some options. Chicago, Toronto, Barrow. It seemed like a bold and repulsive gesture at the time. As he pulled out of the parking lot, he removed his hands from the steering wheel for a moment and felt the car drift into a decision. Years later, he'd think of this as the moment he himself started drifting. A modest technology, but suited to the job. Eh? Plenty, plenty good enough. And at last the headlights. Work fine. Go on. That's important. Most of our products goes out at night. You never know, uh, you know how who you run into in the daylight. And dust can be treacherously misleading with all that indirect light. The magic hour. Do I ever sleep in the day then? Sure. Those that sleep, Miguel put extra day shifts when uh, when he could. Sometimes he helped me, you know. Sometimes over in bottling. He shouldn't have been out driving at dusk, weird shadows, soft light, dangerous. Conway had to get off the highway, too loud, too murky. He turned off into some grey corner field in Indiana. Empties rattled under the passenger seat. He kept them over there so the smell wouldn't spread. That window was always open a crack. He had to pull over. He just needed a nap, even if he ran late. He was only human, he had been out since the headlights were on, didn't even stop for coffee, he cracked a beer at three, eyes on the road, half past four he dodged some stray cattle, the headlights were coming on it back on, Rockford could wait, early morning couldn't be much worse than late night, what could they care, he just needed a few hours. So, moving on. And the crack is back to life. Driver, come back. Ah, oh, there's dispatch. Now tell them about your experience. Tell them the truck's in good shape. Tell them you'll start in the morning. I really can't. Yeah, we've got to finish this delivery and a few. This bitch got two black eyes and a flock of crocodiles. Come back. Make it down and break your eyelids, driver. Come back, lamb. 10 4. Come back, wheel holder. 10 4. Got your ears on? Good, listen to this. So, I think that went well. Let's head back make up to logistics and see in a year then. Uh, I've got one more thing to show you. What the fuck? Okay, I can... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I can go to the other side. Whatever. Let's go to the park. <clears throat> mm. 
not to the park, park at the lo at logistics. Why it was wasn't named that way? Let's head back upstairs. I have one more thing to show you. Wait, we only came here looking for some answer about this stupid moldy computer? Oh, the old man in the cave, the moldy computer, that black mold. It's drawn to whiskey, it feeds on ethanol fumes, you see. As we age the whiskey, some of it inev inevitably evaporates into the air the angels share. It goes through the winds here and out into the caves. If we can scrape up that mold, we can usually apply some pressure and hold to it, squeeze and condense the angels share back into a drinkable whiskey. Every drop counts when you're making a living on this stuff, so we'd go down and scrape it off as equipment just like any other place it grows. He kept sending his people here to drive us away, paranoid, truly paranoid. Well now we have the formula, so we don't need to go collecting molds. Since we stopped going down there, I'm sure the mold's gotten pretty thick. Try cleaning off the timing crystal, that will get you going, I'm sure of it. So join me upstairs? Definitely not. Can you go faster? The question is where is the place you want to show me? Here's, it's, there's nothing here anymore. So back upstairs to the upper place. If you don't mind. Give back the helmets. Yeah, of course. What the fuck was this act? The weird computer game thingy inside the computer game and then this? Under the church in the graveyard that's up from the cave where the fire burns? Here it is, a beauty wouldn't you say? It's an antique you know. What is it? Well, it's an adding machine. That's where we come for our daily ritual to calculate the day's interest and repayment according to the formula. I usually do so at the beginning of my shift, so I know how many hours I need in order to keep up. Yes, I believe you do well here, sir. Happy to have you. Congratulations, you're hired. Wait, we can't. It's customary here to start each day with a shift drink. Let's make it special. Mark the occasion. This is the top chef stuff now. A single barrel. He doesn't. Down the hatch. Vino memoria mors. Memoria mors. Oh. I tried to click somewhere else. But now I have no control over, over my, my cursor. No. I don't want to drink. No. 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 And I didn't click. Decent enough. Welcome aboard. It's not working for you. We have to get back to this hour. He has to delivery to make. What's that? It's not working? Are you turning down this, this opportunity? She's right. I have to make this. Uh, I'm disappointed. And I'm afraid that leaves us with delicate problem. As I indicated, this is the top chef stuff you're drinking now. It isn't cheap. If it's not your first shift drink, well, there's the matter of this tour you just now. My time and experience are built at quite a premium. This is not good for you, my friend. You're in quite deep by my back of the envelope estimations. Well, we have that in common, I suppose, all of us. Yes, I'm afraid you'll have to work this off somehow. It's just the way of it. What's happening right now? You can't start tomorrow. Take the time to settle your affairs. You can start tomorrow. You of course, the interest begins to compound immediately and, well, we'll go over the formula when you get here. I should get back to work. See you tomorrow, then. Okay. That's weird! Weird episode. Wow. The whole third act was really weird. And it's still not done. So I guess I start in the morning. I guess I'm confused. It's just the way these things go, shot. Yo, know, that still gives us a few hours to roam, right? Where's that ferry? And that's the end of the act, I think. And I said that half an hour ago, the last time I said that. That's the problem with adventure games, you always want to keep playing for a bit and playing and playing. Just that, like, uh, this could fit into the episode, it feels like an end. 
it could fit into the episode and then the 20 minutes that I had oh god they're using a, using a mammoth for the forecall great um, and then the 20 minutes that we had in that episode uh, they're now one and a half hour so this will be divided into three episodes end of act three so weird act weird interesting stuff that we've seen very interesting very weird and uh, we're gonna continue with here there along the echo tomorrow on kentucky road zero have a nice day mm -hmm.